Hoveka took over from his late brother Silvanus Kaveriwa, who died in 2011. He has been the leader since then and was recognized as such by government in October this year. In his acceptance speech, Hoveka urged all over Herero and over Mbanderu traditional authorities to put their differences aside and unite for the sake of their people. We must make a difference in their lives, not as separate and individual traditional authorities and traditional communities, but as a united front. However, we may wish to call ourselves and see ourselves as different people. We come from one ancestry, have one common language and culture. Thus, we are one. Nothing can change that. Philip Sherie, an advisor to Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Pea Moshelenga, who read the minister's speech, explained to the gathering that Hoveka's official recognition as chief follows extensive consultation and all due processes were satisfied. He says the recognition grants the chief the power to execute all customary laws of that community and serve as link between the community and government. Today you have officially taken the responsibility of the chieftaincy of the Oveka Royal House of your traditional community. By so doing, you have committed yourself to preserving the history, the legacy, and cultural heritage of this traditional community. Special advisor to the Omaheke governor Pionganate praised Hoveka as an impartial leader who does not seek to be served but to serve others. Today we are here witnessing a very humble man being installed as a leader of this of his people and being recognized as such by government, which give you the necessary edge to present the issues affecting your people to relevant authorities on equal footing with others. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News. A block, Omaheke region.